What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be going over the best SARMs to take while you are on anabolic steroids. Many SARMs complement steroids in positive ways such as joint repair, helping with cholesterol, and really just make the cycle work better all the way around. If you're looking for the best and absolute highest quality of liquid SARMs and peptides, head on over to my good friends at beyond-research.com where you can purchase liquid SARMs and peptides. Be sure to use my code ANG10 for 10% off. And if you buy two or more liquid SARMs, you automatically get $5 off. If you're interested in SARM capsules, all you have to do is call Beyond Max information right there on the screen. They take your order right over the phone. And if you order before 3 p.m. Eastern time, it ships the exact same day. If you have any questions about Beyond Max or Beyond Research, just shoot me an email, ankrumfitness at gmail.com, and I will answer any and all of your questions. What I'm going to do is name some different SARMs and how they would complement your anabolic cycle and in what way they would complement your anabolic cycle. Also, I touch on these points in my SARM guide. If you want an easy to read and an easy way to understand all of these compounds, be sure to grab my SARM guide. It is only $35 and it covers everything you need to know to do your own research right at home. First up is Austrian. Not only can Austrian help with lean muscle and fat loss, but it can also help protect your joints while on your cycle. Steroids in general can pose a risk to your joints, ligaments, and tendons because you are growing and you are putting on muscle and pushing a lot of weight at such a short amount of time, and simply they just can't keep up. This is why you see a lot of injuries while people are on steroids. Austrian can help protect you against injury and help repair. This is also specific to any compounds that really dry you out, Winstrel is one of those compounds. Anytime I run Winstrel, my elbows, my knees, my wrists, they all hurt, they all ache. Austrian can help in that department. It can also help keep your insulin resistance fresh. When you're running a bulking cycle and eating a lot of calories, it can negatively affect your insulin resistance. Austrian can help keep your blood sugar in check. Next up is Carterine. Steroids like Trin, Deca, MPP, and Superdraw can all negatively affect your cholesterol. Not only can Carterine help with fat loss and endurance, but it can also help balance out your cholesterol raise your good and lower your bad. Following carterine, stenobolic can also help to do the same thing. Not only can it balance out your cholesterol, but can also help streamline your body's processes by improving your circadian rhythm, which is your internal clock. Now, if I had to pick one compound out of carterine or stenobolic, I would go with carterine just because of the absorption issue that you do run into with stenobolic. But if you like stenobolic, I would do a couple things. I would make sure you get liquid and I would stack it with carterine. That's the best way to get the most bang out of your buck. Next up is rad one 40. Now, there is some speculation to this claim, but it is still worth noting. RAD140 can potentially help protect your prostate while you run anabolics. Testosterone, especially at higher doses, has been shown to make your prostate grow. Now, RAD can also be a great addition to any cycle for strength and lean size if you want a cheaper alternative to a compound like Anavar. As I've touched on in the past, Anavar is very expensive, especially right now with inflation. And yes, inflation affects everything even steroids, and it is also often faked. Next up is MK677. I just did a video on this, but MK677 is a great add-on to any cycle if you want to increase your appetite. If you're a hard gainer that is taking anabolics, but you're also struggling to get your food in, MK677 can take care of all of that for you. You can also run it during your PCT to help keep those gains you worked so hard to achieve. After that, you can really add in whatever SARM to your anabolic cycle that you would like S4, S23, LGD3303, etc. You have a lot of options. If you are running, you know, testosterone, say like 500 milligrams per week, and you really don't like uh, Superdraw or Anavar is hard to find or T-Ball or any, you know, anabolic orals, you can substitute in a SARM if you like that SARM. Uh, RAD140 is very, very popular. I know a lot of guys that love that over Anavar. So you can also toss that in there with your testosterone just to help push that cycle along. 
It doesn't have to be for your prostate. You don't have to take any other things for it. But if you like that compound, you can stack that compound on any anabolic cycle of your choice. What about you guys? Is there any of you guys out there that like a particular SARM with uh, testosterone or say with your testosterone trend cycle? Which one do you guys prefer? Leave a comment down below. And that is gonna do it for today's video. Be sure to check out Beyond Research, Beyond Max. Check out my SARM guide if you guys want a nice PDF that's just easy to understand all these compounds in the description box below. Shoot me an email if you have any questions and I'm out of here. I appreciate you. I love you. And I will see you at the next video. See you guys.